So how do you go about collapsing a series of nodes into a subnetwork? This is very good if you're wanting to keep a large network well organized. You could take a series of related nodes, collapse them down to a single node in which that single node contains all of the nodes that you collapse. So basically you've just created a subnetwork. Now doing this is really quite simple. So we've got our pool sitting over here and I am down inside the pool network right now. Let's start out by just grabbing these four nodes over here and collapsing them down. So in order to do that, I'll simply select the four nodes as I've done here. I will right click on the menu and then from inside the menu, I'll simply choose collapse. You'll see that the hot key or shortcut, excuse me, is shift C. So let's go ahead and hit shift C and this will collapse everything down into a subnetwork. You'll notice that our pool has not been destroyed. It's still there, so everything is functioning fine. If we were to jump inside of our subnetwork, let's go ahead and jump in there, you can see that we've got everything in place and still connected. I'd also like to point out that we've got four connectors now. And if you recall just a second ago when we were looking at the new node, there were basically four inputs. So let's go ahead and jump back up and let me demonstrate something that's got some inputs. Because in this particular case, we don't have anything coming into the subnetwork. We didn't have anything coming into the four nodes that we had there originally. The first node was the start of that particular branch of this network. So let's pick on uh, Rails here. So what if I took and disconnected the output of the subnet here? You can see we just killed off our pool and took this merge over here and let's disconnect that. Now what if I wanted these guys right here to be in a subnet? I could simply select the three of them, hit Shift C, and then that is going to collapse it down into a subnet. And now I can come in here and I'll just hold Alt and simply click and click on the first one. And then out of the merge here, again, Alt click, and I'm just using Alt because I'm zoomed back a little bit and it's gonna make it a little bit simpler. So there you go. Now let's go ahead and jump inside and I will space home everything up. Now I can simply make the connections we need. You can see that with each of our subnetwork inputs, one, two, three, four, et cetera, anything that has an incoming connection, we can see what node it's coming from, which is very convenient. So in this case, I'm just going to connect input number one coming from or into the subnet, or from the subnet that we made a second ago, excuse me, into Rails 1. And I'm gonna take this guy over here and connect him into this side and it looks like well wait a minute we've only got part of the pool well that's because we're down in this network right here if we were to simply hit you to jump back up boom we do indeed still have the entire pool there so again anytime you want to get back to the subnet and work on it you can just double click or simply select it and hit the enter key jump back down and continue doing your work of course right now we're not seeing a pool because we don't have all of the nodes necessary to give us that pool so I'll hit you to climb back up and again, if you have connections, you've got these four inputs that you get automatically. And if we jump down in here, just make sure you connect up the inputs on the inside of the subnetwork when you've made the connections into the inputs outside the subnetwork. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you in this How Do I video. Thanks a lot, guys.